What's up, guys? It's your girl Bree, and I'm back once again with another video. So, right now, I'm actually on my bed. I need to see. But, um, basically, I'm about to be vlogging for you guys. I'm about to be doing a story time, actually. Move my hand out of the way. How the camera? I keep on thinking, like, the camera's, like, right here. But, how oh, it is. Okay, so, basically, um, I don't know how to say it, but, let me just set my... So, um, yeah, so, I just wanted to show you guys a little thing, hold on, okay, so I just wanted to vlog with you guys and let you know a story time on how, why I've been stressed, why I haven't been posting, why I've been in depression, just the stuff that everybody wants to know why I have not been posting, so here is, this is all in the one video, basically, So basically, yeah. Um, so to start off with, it was, I think the last day I posted was like three weeks ago. Before I started posting again the other day. So basically, I went three weeks MIA. So basically, um, I haven't posted for three weeks until now. So basically, why I have not been posting was because I was in depression. I wasn't having anxiety attacks. I could not even speak in front of my class. I wrote this poem. Let me just read it to you guys. So I can actually read it to you guys now. This is what came from my heart. I wrote it in class. It has my work and everything on it. Like, this is my work. Basically, this is all my work. And basically, it's... My teacher said it had to be titled, Who Are You? So I wrote, Who Are You? Who Am I? Though time won't tell, who am I? Though time won't tell, the em emptiness inside is like the bottom of a shoe, dull and used. However, th that does not make a part of me anymore. I am no longer reckless, and I do not make tragedies anymore. I am brand new, like the soul at the end of the earth. The rainbows and twinkling, glistening snow show the real me, and the uniqueness of the snow shows how far you will go. At the end of life, you will know whether the choices you made will really show. That was a poem that I wrote. It was try. I would try to make it into a song or whatever, but it did not turn out that way. It turned out into a very unique poem that I'm probably going to use for the rest of my life because, I mean, it made a difference. Just me sitting in that one boring class, English class, and just sitting there thinking to myself what I'm thinking at the time, which was, you know, stuff that you should not be thinking about at school. You should not be thinking about committing suicide. You should not be thinking about just doing all these crazy things to yourself or to others while you're sitting in class, but... That poem actually meant everything to me. So, this is everything that I am not. I was speaking into existence, basically, so that I would, like, help myself, like, bring myself to joy and stuff. And it actually worked. So, so, like, I was feeling very dull and I was feeling very used and, like, useless and all this other crazy stuff. And it was just nonsense, I guess. But, basically... I don't want to say this like out on the internet or anything, but basically, it's not abuse or anything. It's just like people kept on getting on my nerves. My parents kept on getting on my nerves. Like normal parents, they keep on getting on people's nerves. And the thing is, people, some people are bad parents, and those people that are bad parents, they don't know how to teach their kids right from wrong. They don't. They try to control them to the point where the kids don't even want to be controlled. They start rebelling and everything else. That's what happens when you have controlling, control freak parents. And it's even that bad where they tell you when to eat, when to sit, when to use the bathroom, when to take a shower, all this other crazy stuff. And, like, it's really bad. So, basically, I mean, it's getting to that point where they started doing that to me. And I just wasn't having it. So, I started rebelling and I started falling into deep depression or whatever. And, like, where I just didn't want to talk to anybody about anything. But now I'm coming out with my story. If you are being verbally abused at home, if you are being any type of abuse at home... Take a, let people take awareness. Like, tell people about it, you know. Tell your friends at school. If you don't feel comfortable talking to your counselor or whatever, tell your friends at school. I'm pretty sure. Or right, tell them to go with you to the counselor, you know. Just have a type of friendship with somebody where you could tell your stuff to, your business to or whatever. But not too much. Just a little bit. And basically, just tell them what you're going through and stuff. And I'm pretty sure they will bring awareness to it. And you will get help. So, I kind of wish I had that. I kind of wish I had Morgan down here. But, 
you know, she's where she needs to be right now for the better. So, yeah. And that's all I really wanted to say on my free. So, yeah. That's why I've been in my because I've been dealing with a lot of stress and stuff with school. Like, I literally have a 70-something in English. And the rest are A's and B's. Well, A's. I have, like, a 98 in science. Or a 90. I think I have 100 in science. Physical science honors. Um... For early childhood education, I have like an 80, wait no, 97. And then for English, I have a 70 something in. And then for foods too, I have, I think I have 100 in that too. So yeah, guys, I love you all. Please please give this video a thumbs up if you want to ex me to explain more like in depth. Because I didn't really get too in depth like I said I was going to do. But I got pretty personal with you guys, I think. And yeah, I just love y'all and And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe. And hit the post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post another video. And I will be posting videos back to back to back. So yeah, I will post a video every single day now. Until December 31st. Well, actually January 1st. Because I want to post a New Year's video too. And then I'm going to go in my for a while until my birthday. <laughs> So, yeah, I love you all with Breeze, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.